All right, welcome to Ale Pie, everyone. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It has been way too long. I'm so excited to be finally putting this video up. Big Little Week was so much fun. I absolutely love my little. I hope you guys really like this video. I take you along for shopping for her baskets, and then I also show you some of the baskets at our sorority house, and I also show you some stuff in my baskets that I made for her. This video isn't just my Big Little Week. I also show some of the stuff I do on the weekend, so hopefully if you're not like taking a little or that part's not as interesting, you still like the weekend in my life kind of vibe from this video. Um, again, let me know in the comments if you guys like it. And I also just wanted to explain how Big Little works. How do you get a big? How do you have a little? Um, all of those things sorority related and all of that. And I'll kind of tell you how I met my little before we hop into this video. So a lot of people find littles through recruitment. I did not meet my big through recruitment, but a lot of my friends did. And I don't know, I think it's like a really cool way to meet your big. I met my little during recruitment. I think it was philanthropy day. So that's how I met my little. And we started hanging out a bunch and got super close. So how big little pairing works, I guess it's kind of different per sorority, but what you do is you go on like little like dates with the girl that is older or younger than you and you try to meet people that you have something in common with or that you vibe with. Um, and that's exactly what my sorority does. And after that in my sorority, we find out who our littles are. We make three baskets for like Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of the week of Big Little. Other sororities don't do that, and I'm always really shocked. So in the baskets, we like to include cute stuff, things they like, um, maybe like some decor, AO pie letters, um, jackets, all of that. And then we also include some of the, you know, not as cute t-shirts also. I think that's a fun tradition most Cal Poly sororities do I'm not really sure and maybe other sororities too but there's some things from like 2003 that are just really not I don't know they're just not cute so yeah that's kind of all I wanted to explain just for some of you guys that don't know how sororities work don't know how big little works excited for you guys to see this video and let's get started we're hitting a bunch of stores we're gonna be coming along for all this we have Nikki hello Shay hello <laughs> Emily hello welcome to the dollar store of course these Santa ones are funny I feel like I want to get her little things she can wear to like the Christmas stuff. <laughs> so, gotta get some candy now. I have a list. Swedish fish, chocolate, lollipops, gummy worms. Yeah. Okay, Swedish fish. Check. <laughs> Boom! So I'm doing a yellow basket, so I think I'm gonna get her this little succulent here. I was thinking of getting this gold jar. Really cute. We're getting some jewelry for the girls. So I just got stuff from World's Market, and I'll show you guys all of that in a little haul. We are currently at Michael's. We're trying to find those text boxes. So we just got home and I got so many things. I'll kind of show you guys them as I unpack it all. But look at our living room. Looks like Christmas threw up. You know, really accomplished. We have some finished baskets over there. So some of the stuff that I got from the dollar store was like these pistachios, some cereal, dum-dums, um, like what are these called? This is a necklace she could wear to like some sort of like holiday thing. I don't know. And then a fun tape dispenser. I thought that was just like a cute thing for the basket. My big Warner is helping me with my baskets to make I them look cute because I'm not very good at this. Hey guys, so I am just finishing putting together my big little baskets and I wanted to tell you my little scheme that I'm up to. So the girl I'm taking as a little and I have been super close and uh, I kind of feel like she knows it's me. So I'm trying to trick her. I don't know if it's going to work, but... My goal is to write her like a fun card and then pretend it's from another girl she talked to during recruitment. And then I wrote another card from me in the basket and it says, or I'll read you both, okay? So I said on one of them, like my three clues or my four clues were, you have a twin. I live in a house, which I don't, I live in an apartment. I can't serve and my parents are divorced. So that kind of leads to another one of the girls in our chapter. And then the one that's supposedly from me, even though my friend Emily wrote it, says, hey, I was supposed to be your big, but I got in trouble with AO Pie. It can't take a little. So I'm hoping that she is kind of thrown off right there and doesn't think that it's me, just so reveal is more fun. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but we're gonna hope so. And on day one, I also kinda given a clue that it could be one of my friends and not myself. So I'm kinda just going along with that, hoping that she'll think it's someone else the whole week. And yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes, show you the reveal and all of that, but stay tuned for more of that. Good morning, so today is the first day of Big Little Week, and we're about to go drop off our fun baskets at the house for our littles. 8.30 in the morning, and they're supposed to be there by three, but we all have class till really late today, so we kind of need to get it done now. 
day one basket I made and it kind of had supposed to have like all her favorite things so I made chocolate chip cookies and put them in this tin and like we wrote little notes got her some earrings a journal some AOPI letters a water bottle picture frame I made her this canvas back here got some chocolate pens tons of t-shirts and then this is like a really cute succulent plant it's actually like this and then i put it in this jar so double use on that and then some makeup rose spray and some other little things and then i put this vine around it that i got at target in their little christmas section and then i made this banner just like cutting out some paper so yeah hopefully she likes it there's some little things like hidden in the basket but that's kind of the most like majority part of it and stuff this is morgan's um, she did a really good job too because she was literally out of town the whole weekend <laughs> so she still did it yeah um so yeah since it's 8 30 not like everyone obviously has come here yet but beautiful aopi all right this is the basket for today i'm actually really proud of this one um so hopefully she likes it i got her this e from home goods and then I put in a bunch of like little makeup products, spa stuff, just because today's theme was spa. I also decided to trick her, and I wrote a little note about why I'm not the person she thought, which is me, is not her big anymore. I said I got in trouble, so I can't take a little. So hopefully that doesn't scare her too much. And then I gave her this sign that my big made for me last year, and then I gave her another canvas so that she can make one for her little next year. And then some face masks and treats in here and then I'm gonna write a note to go check out the freezer because we talked about how we love cotton candy and like birthday cake ice cream so went to the store just now and got it for her so I'm gonna go put it in the freezer all these baskets look really cool they do. show you some of them there's um a really oh I love that size. Is so cute oh my gosh my friend Courtney did yeah, such a good job on this one. Oh my gosh this is, this, is, Ken Kennedy's looks really good. this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Brayden's is awesome. I thought this one said Tatiana. And I was really confused. We kind of go hard on these baskets, dang. Good job, Shay. Put that fire out. <laughs> Yummy. And so right now I'm going to go head out and pick up a package that got delivered to me the other day. Um, but I ended up not being here to like sign for it So have to go pick it up from the post office right now And then I'm gonna probably go somewhere and study. It's kind of like my plan I have some good amount of stuff to study for just so that next week is a little bit easier So next week I'm going to Spain for Thanksgiving with my big and gotta get some stuff done before that So I'm trying to study for biology just because the day I get back. I have like my bio final which is great um, so lots of studying to do for that. Other than that though, nothing is this week. So it's super chill. Um, just big little stuff. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, we have some friends staying with us this weekend, which will also be really fun. It's going to make this more of like a week in my life. We'll see if it turns into that. Just got our big little shirts. I'm going to open those up. Got them for the whole fam. All right. Here's what we're thinking for the big little reveal. We're doing groovy because we're the groovy fam. All right. Welcome to AO Pie, everyone. Oh my gosh. All right, this is the day three basket. Um, I have her little shirt that she's getting for tomorrow and then the glasses for the disco themed or for the groovy theme and then a little boa that she'll wear for reveal also. And then I have her little note in here, a jewelry box with some AOPI jewelry in there. So we got her some like rose petal soaps because this is like the AOPI basket day and the rose is our like little symbol. And then I put in some cute t-shirts and wrapped those with some twine bidet shirt from last year. A bunch of really cute little sweets in here, like all her favorite candies. I got her more glitter for like raves and stuff that she might go to. There's some glow sticks back here, a pack, a backpack. We have the AO Pie like wooden sign and then two other really cute signs back here. So yeah, I tried to do purple theme and then it kind of turned into more of like a rainbow theme. So sorry Elise on that, but Tried to make it as cute as I could. And then we have lots of like fun treats in here and all that. So hopefully she likes this. And then always underneath the basket, like where all the like stuff you can see is, is like a bunch of shirts that I'm passing down. They're not all like really cute, but it's kind of just tradition. And then Whoa, I'll look at everyone's. Or, wow. Oh, I like the Cheeto letters. Those are Wait, so cute. Wait, Cheeto letters? That's, that's adorable. Really cute. Dang. 
The house is stacked once again. All right. Hi guys, so today is the big little reveal and I'm so excited. I kind of think Elise might know who I am just because I tried tricking her but then I said like, I kind of like made her think that it would be someone else and then she ended up having to do her big little reveal early and post it on Instagram, which is obviously fine but like, I'm sad because I'm pretty sure that kind of just like made her realize that it is me and I was just tricking her the whole time. But I'm not really sure if that is the case or not but I'm assuming she still thinks it's me. So Courtney and I are gonna head down with Emily to downtown to go study at Kreuzberg Coffee. It's kind of the plan, if we can find a seat there. We have to do some bio homework. I need to do my online class. It's going in the vlog, dude. Oh, in the vlog? Yeah, for Big Little. <laughs> so we have to have like a little sheet so that we can like hold it up, drop it, and she'll see I'm her big. So, gotta write her name on it or something with like um, printing something out or something. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so obviously this is really small, but made her her little like card thing on the sheet. So hopefully she can actually find it. All right, we are about to head to reveal. Oh my God. We are ready <laughs> for reveal. <laughs> Turn like, like birth yeah. is about to We got like 10 minutes till we have like, to like, start. Like, <laughs> downtown right now to get some food and dessert potentially um but yeah now at least give me another vlog so just get ready Woo! She's gonna put on my shoes so she can take this photo for Elise <laughs> when you only have three boots also the downtown looks so cute right now it's, it's really working for us i don't even have socks on dude warner okay wait can we do a fam dinner eureka So excited. I'm so excited. Good morning. So today is Saturday. Um, I just went to my friend Courtney's house to have a Friendsgiving, which was so fun. So We're funny. at Friendsgiving. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was like, you guys like the room really is my so cute. Like, Emily, I don't what the heck? Been in here, have you? Alright, it is a date party tonight, so it's disco themed. Looks just like my Halloween costume. So just a white tube top and then this like sparkly skirt from Amazon. So today is Sunday. I just spent the whole day at the beach with Grant, which was super fun. And now I'm going to go ahead to the gym. Later tonight I have something for my sorority, so I'll be doing that for a few hours. But need to work out, finish up some homework, and then I need to start packing for my trip. That is all for today's video. Sorry it ended kind of abruptly, but hopefully you liked it. And I'm so excited for my next video because it is really, really exciting. And I don't know if some of you guys won't know what it is, obviously. It has to do with my, like, sorority. Stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh, grace, oh, grace.